instead of a paper bag, then you need to bring in a good partner, which is why I had to bring in Leon. <laughs> uh, and then the other half is technology. Uh, and in in his understanding of technology, it it's dumbfounding. Finance. I mean, this guy should be bigger and badder than he is. Than 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 than. Well, we will be there soon. Yeah, yeah, and, I, I know what you're saying. It's the perfect situation. That that's why we both have our own project studios. I mean, try and imagine, you know, having one setup, but two people are kind of fighting over. Well, I have this idea. Let me do this and. You know, he'll work on a piece of music and upload it to the server, and I'll drop it into the project, and I'll be blown away, and I'll text him and go, dude, you don't need to change anything, and then I'll send him a piece of music and text him, and he'll say, dude, you need me to, I need to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> because now, I mean, he, it, the ability for us to, to establish working relationships with anybody in the industry um, means we can go anywhere in the world and do obvious video conferencing. I mean, look at what we're doing here. Yeah. And, and the ability of, of physically needing to live in a place like Los Angeles anymore isn't necessarily as required as I think it was, you know, five, ten years ago. It, it's, it's advantageous for us to be there sure. and to be able to kind of have a, a facial presence, if you will, with people. But... I mean, this this summer we signed with uh, Kevin Pike at the Film Tricks Agency yep. in North Hollywood. So now it's like we have our agent uh, having the face for us based right out of Los Angeles, and we just need to shut up and do the music. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so, I mean, really, it's the perfect blend of two people that, you know, I mean, both Leon and I have had other uh, ventures in, in the music business before. Yeah, We've had other partners. Cool. And I think that I'll speak for the both of us in saying that neither one of us have, have worked better as a team than, than we've been at this now, I don't know, easily. Yeah. And it's like it just keeps snowballing into bigger and better things. And, of course, you know, we should be able to do things quicker. Um, we had always questioned the fact that, hypothetically speaking, we were to be approached with two projects at the same time. Uh, we now could probably split that up kind of easily. I mean... It seems like when you deal with composers or you look at the movie credits, you don't see a lot of two people. You see a yeah. lot of one. And I guess, you know, I mean, it's hard to have, you know, well, I like what you did, but. And sometimes, <laughs> you know, I think it takes the right egos and the right personalities to to be able to accept the fact that I didn't get criticized, but I got a great suggestion that I should have thought of. Sure. Well, I, I agree. I mean, like, you know, a lot of people, I don't think, pay much attention to the credits anymore. Once the movie's done, they just leave. disappear. They just leave. They're like, oh, we don't want to see the ending credits or whatever. Yeah, I do. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's it's, it's strange why nobody would want to sit through that. Because that's what the music well, is best. You know, growing up oh. with my dad, yeah? I mean, the stunt guys were always, like, laughing we'll right the there. credits. And I always stuck around looking to see who's doing what. Who was in it? Which stunt guy I knew from from hanging out at the office with my dad, and of course a lot of the post production, which is composing music. All of that is at the end. I mean, they tell you who does the music in the in the title credit, but but I'm always curious to know more. It's like the old days, since since well, I'll speak for myself. I'm the oldest one sitting in this <laughs> conference. Oh yeah, uh, you know, by read, far. <laughs> by far. I used to read all the record liner notes, man. I wanted to know all the details. Who did they think and why? Yeah, exactly. You know, I think that's the same thing as, as the movie credits. I mean, now I can download a song off of iTunes and I could care less who's playing drums on it <laughs> versus before I had to know who was doing what and, and you know, to then establish the fact of, you know what? It's the same guy who's been playing on all these records or, <laughs> you know, always scoring all these films. I mean, and so now we pay That's attention wild. because, if you will, it's in our best interest to know who our competition is. Well, that that kind of sums it up. We're almost out of time. <laughs> We got two minutes, minutes, less than two minutes left. That that was a, that's good. That, uh, two minutes left, right about, now. About two minutes left, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to to do this with me because you know this this is really cool. The fact that you know I got to know you here back in two thousand six. You know when we first you know did the interview and all that stuff. Is and that then, when it was? Is that the first one? Yeah, I think it was like sometime. Had it been either. 
probably the summertime or, or fall of 2006. I don't remember. But I do know that the one that we did, the latest one besides this one, was in July of 2007. And that was pretty okay. much my last big thing besides interviewing Eric Bischoff and, and uh, Jeffrey Wiseman. You're the, yeah, and now you again. <laughs> So uh, we'll get Strider on this. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> That'd be awesome because I know he. When we when I interviewed him, he had oh, a lot. He had a lot of stories as well, you know, from his career and even now. It would, uh, I mean, I see him on Facebook, but you know, updated his photos and all that stuff. But it's like, man, you know, it's nice. I like hearing people's stories from one minute from what they you know, what they've uh, done, you know, in their career thus far, you know. So. Yeah. Well, and the stories can keep going. I mean, sometimes there's that passion that that comes through and. You know, it, it's hard to shut people up. I mean, we we sum it up by saying, if anybody's ever yeah, interested, them. the best way to find us is warlockandbradford.com. Warlock and Bradford, and then you guys are on Facebook too, right? Obviously. Facebook. Now, but here's the catch. This is a, and I'll make it extremely short. Facebook would not accept my last name of Warlock, which is why we had to go under the name of Lance. Anne, and and with the, with the letter N, Leon. Instead of everything <laughs> is Warlock and Bradford, except Facebook is Lance and Leon. Huh. Couldn't fit <laughs> you. We'll cut her right here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. We got it. 